You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. And uh, in Brockton, at least twice a year, we have a special treat over at the Greek Annunciation Orthodox Church. And here to tell us about it is my friend Eleni. Thank did you I say Mark. it right? Yes, you did. Okay. Thank you and so much. Stimbolitis? Excellent. Okay. Now I know when I introduce your title, I'm going to get that part wrong, but that's okay. Greek Food Festival in May. Absolutely. It's coming up this weekend? This weekend, the 19th and the 20th, uh, Saturday from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m., and Sunday from 12 to 6 p.m. And this one's indoors? This one's indoors, so rain or shine, everyone is welcome, and we'll be able to accommodate everyone. Our youth group is uh, also hosting a yard sale. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's been an attraction uh, for the community in the past, and so they've decided to do it again. And it does help a great deal with the many ministries that our youth group supports as well as the church. Do you have a newer priest over there these days? We do. Uh, we just welcomed to our parish Father Michael Curametis, mm -hmm. and he comes to us from New York. He's been um, in with our church for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. So he's a long time uh, priest and uh, we're excited to have him with us. Yeah, I got a chance to meet him at the 100 Hungry Friends dinner yes. that you guys just had. Yes. And that was a wonderful event. He had just arrived yep. at, that, uh, at that weekend. So that was, that was good, but this is all the homemade food. This is the same food that you guys have in, in September. Fall, in September. In, in our September. But inside. But inside. It's a, it's a mini version of what we do in September. But the basic traditional foods will all be there. Our traditional baked lamb, uh, the lamb gyro, uh, the pastizzo, the homemade pies with the homemade filo, uh, the pastries with the baklava, mm -hmm. and the galactoburico, and many, many other um, selections will be available for everyone. Labor of love, but a lot of hard work. You know, without the commitment and the dedication of the parishioners to make everything from scratch, we could not do it. But most of all, it takes the tremendous and amazing support of the Brockton and surrounding community that attends these events. Mm -hmm. And it does bring joy to our heart that everyone enjoys what we present. Well, I know we do. I'm going to have a triple play this year. It's going to be <laughs> this one. I did the Greek Hundred Hungry Friends, and then in the fall, September. Uh, we already have the dates out for that. We'll bring you back for that one. And my staff, uh, Aaron, who's directing this right now, he particularly likes this event. Uh, Jay, who's running the camera here, he has Greek blood in him, so, and everybody has Greek blood, right? We can all be Greek for a day. Absolutely. We can Absolutely. all be Greek for a day. And uh, there'll be music, there will be a kids' table, mm -hmm. so there'll be uh, activities for the kids as well, even though it's indoor, indoors. So we do look forward for everyone coming. Well, you have a nice stage there, so there's music on the stage, yeah. and there's... Uh, the dancers. They will be dancing. Our dancers uh, will be entertaining everyone, and everyone in attendance is welcome to join in and dance and have a wonderful time. Well, the interesting thing about Brockton has always been the Greek community and how committed they are to the city and how, I mean, I grew up, my family, you know, we're, we're Jewish, so Jewish, Greek, African-American, now it's Cape Verdean and Haitian and everything. That's the nice thing about Brockton, where everybody lives, works together, nobody fights with each other. Brockton is a great place. It's, it's a family place. You know? Everyone embraces one another. Every culture embraces the other culture, and uh, it makes for um, a wonderful experience. Broke my heart the year that Steve Demos' daughter got married on Lesvos. He invited me to the wedding, except it was my son's graduation from Brockton oh. High. So I couldn't go, and my father said to me, you don't know what you're missing, because when my father was in World War II and he was stationed, he was on, I think, Santorini? Yes. Okay, and Dad had good assignments. He was he Santorini, he was assignment. the Vatican, <laughs> the only place that was a 
not a good assignment was he liberated his uncle from one of the concentration camps. But dad was all over the European theater. He loved Greece, he talked about Greece. But we grew up with the Targon Cities, the Leopopolis, the, you know, all the different families of Brockton. And you know, we, also, we always used to share food because the, the things that link all cultures together are food and music and family. And family. For sure. And this is what we found that the festival does. It links everyone together, brings everyone together, and everyone has a wonderful time. And, and you forget about the things that concern you every day. Right. For Even for just a brief moment. Is there going to be a bazooki there? There will be music. OK. There will be music. OK. okay. Because I love that, and uh, I'm so used to all the songs. It can't now, be a Greek. It cannot be a Greek event without no. music. Okay. So, ladies, Philopticus Society. Did ladies, right? Philopticus Society. I did okay. Not it's bad. A, it's the philanthropic arm of our church. Okay. And across the United States, we have 26,000 members okay. that work tirelessly to support various charitable organizations. Great. So we are looking forward to it. We're gonna, um, we're gonna be there to eat. We might even be there with a camera. You never know. I, I remember walking through the line one year, and I was being fed. <laughs> okay, and people got the expression on my face because I love the lamb. The lamb is my absolute personal favorite. But I like it all. I mean, the pasticcio. Did I say it right? Yes. I love that. Dave Westcott and I took a, a few plates of that at the at, at the hungry hung, hundred hungry friends dinner. And, and it's homemade. And David we is really careful him. with his diet. He, <laughs> he saved it up for the week to go there. Of course, he gets the diet at home with Phyllis, but, you know. No, it's a little different. You have, yeah. to, you, you have to have a taste of the pastizzo Absolutely. when you come. And, uh, of course, the pies are just uh, amazing. Absolutely. Amazing. So Saturday the 19th, Sunday the 20th, 20th. from time again? Saturday is from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. And Sunday is from 12 to 6 p.m. Okay, so I'm going to get there on Sunday, and I, I'm going to have to have you save me something because I have to do the Stonehill graduation in the morning. Oh, my. At 10 we definitely have to Either save that or I'm going to come before and take takeout and bring it home for the next day, one or the other. So thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having us. It's always a pleasure. Our, the pleasure is ours. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.